Hi, I'm Jenilyn. And I'm Jillian. We're identical twins. And, and this, this is Twin Spin. Twin. It's our spin in all things health, beauty, and fitness. And today we are back at Gazelle Sports. We are getting a shoe fitting for our favorite brand, the On Shoes. And we're gonna show you their shoe fit process because they do go in depth. They actually look at your gait while you are walking and also when you squat and just to see if your foot pronates at all and what shoe would be best for you. And that includes stability purposes or if you're going long distance running, just really caters to what's gonna make you feel best. Yeah, and we think it's super important that people go through this process instead of just ordering online or kind of making that guess because we have our clients at both of our gyms that constantly ask us, you know, what is the best shoe? What is right for me? And because every person is so different and has their own unique needs, going through the process of getting fit for a shoe can be really important and also affects your performance at the gym or if you are running or doing any outdoor activity. I totally agree. And you guys are going to see here, like I thought that I was a size seven. I always order a seven, but complain about my toes being super tight. So even going in to get that shoe fitting and realize that some shoes, like I'm going to need a seven and a half and that'll make me feel better. Not complain about my feet all the time, which I thought were like the socks I was wearing, but it's probably just the wrong shoe size. So we're going to go through everything with you and we hope you guys enjoy it. Right. And sometimes just one more thing, shoes can affect you know, if you're having any back pain or different like joint pain, sometimes shoes is really important and it's something that you should look at and you need to get a new shoe on a frequent basis, depending on how often you wear them or how often you are active. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, it can definitely affect your daily life and what you do. So that's why we wanted to help you guys. And here are some tips from Gazelle Sports in Birmingham. And here we go. Uh, the first thing we like to do before we even go into a gait analysis is just gather a little bit of information. Um, so the first thing I'd like to know is what kind of shoe are you looking for and what will you be using it for? So I'm looking for a shoe to work out in. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm into like functional fitness, so weight training, but I also do like some cardio on the treadmill with a stair stepper. Perfect. And then, you know, some like sled pushing, stuff like that. That's cardio, but not, I'm not really a long distance runner, but yeah. I mean, eventually maybe, but. Perfect, perfect. I'm just going to film you walking back and forth using Coach's Eye, and we're just looking to see if you pronate, supinate, or what sort of gait that you have. Okay. So I'm going to have you walk just down to the wooden wall and back. Okay, just stay right there. Now what I'd like you to do is go ahead and just in a, in a neutral, do a squat, hold. Great. Step back up and then do one single leg squat. Perfect. And then on the other foot. Perfect. Yeah. You have a very neutral gait. I don't think you need any corrective shoe. Okay. Um, so you're pretty easy. Okay, perfect. A lot of times what we do with this, the coach's eye is to really do a playback to the customer to show what we're seeing. So the fact that we could really slow it down, if you were over pronating, we would be able to show you how your ankle is actually turning. But let's go. Let's go all the way up to the... See like right here, we're showing just very neutral, really just are very aligned. So you're gonna to wanna to put your left heel. Okay. So this next step, I'm gonna have you just kind of scooch it over again. Mm -hmm. We're looking to see the length of your foot. So we have a seven, even a seven and a half. And we wanna just really look at the arch and the width to make sure you're in the proper foot. So I'm going to have you do the other foot now. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing with you standing up. Okay. And if there's any change in the size, that tells us a lot about if you have a collapsing arch. So go ahead and square put all of your weight in fully. Yep. Yeah, it hasn't changed much. Let me do the other. Yeah, yeah. 
So everything looks um, and pretty I do find like I'm in between the sodas and the half yeah. depending on the shoe. So. so with that, a lot of times we'll go up if you ever complain that your foot feels crowded, if you have um, issues with your toe. A lot of times we like that a little bit of extra room if you're running. Some people like a, a tighter fit if they're doing more of like a um, like a crossfit or a... Right, they don't want this to slip or anything. Mm -hmm. So that's a personal preference. You are truly in between. So if okay. you're comfortable with the seven, that's totally fine. Okay. We can bring up both sizes too to let you try Oh, because I do sometimes have toe issues, so maybe it would be better to go... Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely bring the seven and a half. Okay. If you were running any sort of distance too, I definitely would recommend that extra room in the toe. Okay. And I know that we did do the uh, gait analysis on you, so we know that you're a neutral runner. And that's why I'd love to just show you um, for what type of workout you're doing. Uh, we have some suggestions, but I definitely think the Cloud X could be a great choice for you, so I'd love for you to try those on. Okay, thank you. Awesome. 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 So we'll just have you take a seat. Okay. Uh, we will go ahead and have you pop a pair of socks okay. on. So Ann has been a company that's been at Swiss Engineered. It's been around for about 10 years, um, six years in the US, and it's a really wonderful company. It, they've created a very lightweight shoe that still offers all of the cushion that you're going to need. I see them like all over my gym and everywhere. And Absolutely. I'm so excited to finally get myself a pair. Yeah, they're very popular. They do feel really nice on too. So go ahead and give those a try. How do they feel? They feel really good. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and check how much room you have in the toe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually would go up a half okay. the size. So I'm going to go ahead and grab you. Um, the next size up, and we're going to see how that feels. Okay. I don't want it to slip in the ankle at all. Right, because I do feel nice and snug there, but yeah. I think a little bit of room in the toe would Let's help. Let's compare the, the two. Okay. For sure. Thank Great. you. I will go run and grab those. Okay. So once I got my correct shoe size on and everything felt good, the last part of the shoe fitting at Gazelle Sports is where they actually have you test the shoes out on the treadmill in the store to see how they feel before you take them home. They also observe how you run in case they can make recommendations for other shoes that may help you better. I was asked a series of questions regarding if I had any pain while running, shin splints, or any other issues. I love this personal touch and that they are so knowledgeable. Everyone's gait is so different, so it's nice that they do this full analysis and the educational piece is there. They really want you to feel good and ready to take on your activity before leaving the store. It made me feel super comfortable and I also learned a lot. Your form looks good. I mean, I wouldn't change anything okay. if you wouldn't need to change anything if you're not experiencing injury right now. Right. Everything looks good. Yeah, maybe just a little more lean. But that's a, <laughs> okay. that's just that's running form. The shoes looked great. Um, yeah, yeah it looks I really great. Like them. Yeah, so there's a lot of steps that they take in their process to make sure that your shoe fits perfect for whatever activity you need, whether that be running or in the gym. So that pretty much wraps up the shoe fit process at Gazelle Sports in Birmingham, Michigan. Thanks again so much for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one, so stay tuned. Bye, Bye for, for now. now.